there is something of a stereotype when it comes to Oscar nominated movies and what they look like. It's either an epic masterpiece or a boundary pushing controversial small film or even a heartfelt indie. Well, Lady Bird may fall into the last category and may be a conservative movie. Please do not tell anyone that's voting in the Academy. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. Lady Bird was directed by Greta Gerwig, who is in fact a woman, and this has been talked about at nauseum. Like, I don't know why they want to just not say that this is the best directed movie, period, but no, it has to be the best female directed movie, which I think is stupid in a gender neutral category. It should just be best picture. And I'm sure Greta would like to be known as just the best director, period, not just the best woman director. Hopefully they don't try to politicize it and she definitely deserves to be nominated. It was a great movie. This movie was also received very well, receiving 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. And the budget was only $10 million, but still grossed almost $50 million at the box office. So this was a big, big success. But was it a good movie? My viewer review is a five out of five. Now this is definitely not my cup of tea kind of movie. In fact, it's not even my shot of whiskey, which is is always better anyway, which is why I'm going to definitely give it a 5 out of 5 and not a 4 out of 5. Now this movie feels a little bit to me like Slumdog Millionaire, a movie that I actually like a little bit more that did really well at the Oscars as well, including winning Best Picture. Um, that is because the characters are very relatable, the situations are believable, and there is a tangible heartbeat to this movie itself as you watch it. Now the characters are deeply and wonderfully drawn by Greta and this allows you to care as you go on this quirky coming of age tale for an hour and a half. This movie is emotional, it's funny, it's entertaining, it's surprisingly deep and it is for a, for a quirky kind of commie coming of age tale, it is suspiciously real as you go through and watch this story unfold. My critic review is a four out of five. This is a clinic on no dead weight in a movie. The hardest thing to create, the hardest thing to do as a director, a writer, is to cut down your story. Every single moment and look and scene feels like you're amputating your arm when you get to the cutting room floor and have to condense it, but it's the most important thing in trying to get a story that everyone can relate to that doesn't bore anyone, and this movie took everything out because all the moments are small and intimate and perfectly done every joke and emotional point lands because you're not bogged down by anything the dialogue is some of the best too i've ever heard particularly between lady bird and her mother it is so real and relatable and quick and specific i it, it's it, it's a testament and to her writing and the creation of the story and the characters my performance award goes to i hope i'm saying this right sorcy ronan and laurie metcalf both who are actually nominated for the oscar for their performances as lead actors and supporting actress for their roles my faith in values is a four out of five. Now this does not mean this is a take your kid to the movie to watch kind of piece. No, please don't do this. There's a lot of stuff in the movie, a lot of language, sexual moments, a lot of graphic stuff too. Just, it's not that kind of movie and not that kind of faith in values. But what I love is that the values are great. The significance and importance of religion is there and it's told through the eyes of the youth. And this is great because of course, when we're young and stupid, we're more liberal and when we're older and more wise, we're conservative. But the picture of struggles, temptation are not diminished and downplayed in the movie. It is very real when you watch it. The mother is particularly hard to be around at times for sure, but it is great. One of the best scenes of the movie is when you get to see her backstory. She's arguing with Lady Bird about cleaning up her room and saying she needs to put away her stuff, she doesn't respect anything, all this kind of stuff. Lady Bird is almost in tears and she's like, Has, didn't your mom ever like let you not put every single piece of clothing perfectly in your drawer? And she just looked at her and she's like, my mother was an abusive alcoholic and then leaves. And it's so great to see like the backstory of her mother being you know, portrayed onto the daughter now, even though the daughter never actually cleans up her room the entire time and it's constantly dirty because that's an issue that she really has. But yes, the mother is a little bit overbearing, but there's also a reason for that. And you get to see still the love and the respect for one another because everyone still says, your mother is awesome, she loves you. That's the fact that she is paying attention that shows her intense love for you. And uh, the brother's girlfriend in the movie is like, you should the sacrifices she made for me, she didn't even know me, she took me in, did all this stuff. It is great to see, yes, these are real, these conflicts are real and they're important, but with the big picture of it, you can still see that these are so important, like the family, the values, being together, loving each other, caring about each other, it was still, it doesn't offset the fact that there are still issues that we go through. Lady Bird also acting out in school is completely understandable in these adolescent situations. And they're funny, it's quirky, it's real stuff we've all seen, all been through, all this kind of stuff, and it's done seamlessly and so fast, it is so artful the way that they showed all of them. However, what I love about it is that though all these acts, you can see they're almost justified, like of course I would wanna do that too, I don't wanna you know, reach out here or rebel here, but what's great is it never glorifies any of those actions, those consequences, those decisions she made never live up to the beautiful expectation of what it's really going to be about. It doesn't glorify premarital sex, even though it says that obviously it shows that it does happen. It's never going to be as good as you think it is as it's going to be or as beneficial as you think it's going to be. No, nothing that she does to act out actually ends up being great for her. 
One of the best parts of this movie to me, though, is still how it wraps up. You get to see a girl whose dream was to get out and how everything's going to be happy once she does. She finally makes it to New York out of her small town. She's at this college. And for a moment, not the entire time, but for a moment, she finally understands and appreciates everything that she had in this small town, everything that she took for granted, her family, her relationships, and even, yes, even the, the religious upbringing, all these values that were so important to her when she finally sees the forest for the trees somewhere else, when she finally crosses that fence to the other side and sees the grass is not greener over here. And you get to see that appreciation and understanding for those values and those principles and how important they really are. I truly do hope that this movie does well because it seems to be one of the few movies that has not been nominated or potentially nominated for its political slant and bias. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. And another fantastic news, you can now download the Rebel app and take me with you wherever you go to get exclusive content in the entire Rebel lineup.